This isn't a true unboxing video per se. It's more of an inventory as well as some explanation and some tips and tricks of everything that comes inside the laser when you order one of these. I'm just gonna run through the various parts and components and cords and software that came with the machine uh, in no particular order. This is the power supply. It's for 110 volts. Um, the owner's manual says that uh, you want your own dedicated circuit if you're gonna run a 110 volt um, cord with a uh, with a 60 or 75 watt machine. I have a 60 watt machine. Um, I believe I have my own dedicated circuit. I've got the electrician coming later tonight uh, to verify that. But we might have to switch it over to 220 um, if it's just not going to work. Uh, next, we've got a 10 foot USB 2.0 AM slash BM cable. Um, from what I can read in the owner's manual, you want to use this cord uh, if you're closer. Um, if your computer is located right next to your machine. Um, for further away applications, so you know, depending on where you're going to vent your machine, uh, it needs a an outlet to vent to to the outside. Um, so for longer uh, applications, so if your computer is say 30 feet away from your machine, you're going to want to use um, a Category 5E crossover patch cord. Uh, with what comes in the machine is uh, a 14 foot length. Um, this I actually have no idea what it is. Um, looks like a small air hose, uh, air tube of some sort, um, most likely for the air assist system. I haven't been able to find anything in the owner's manual about it yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll figure it out. Next we've got uh, the two items that are used to focus the machine um, and calibrate it. So uh, this paper says use this target and the red dot pointer to verify the laser alignment. So that's to get the red dot and the actual laser um, spot on with each other. Uh, when, you, uh, when you're when you calibrating the machine. It says remove the target prior to eng engraving. It looks like just like a little, uh, little acrylic um, piece that's got a little target on it. Uh, I've actually never used one of those before. All lasers that I've used have, uh, have already been calibrated. Um, moving on to this, this is, uh, I actually don't even know what it's called. Uh, I use it to focus the material on the um, or focus the laser on the material so you set this on top of the laser and you raise the table up and down until the very tip of this touches your material at which point you can see this uh, piece raise up slightly and uh, then you know your laser is focused on the material. Next we've got a clamp that comes with two thumb screws. I actually have no idea what this is called. Um, I've never used one before. It's made out of aluminum. It has a little wheel on it that allows it to roll and it appears as if these uh, thumb screws um, go right there which allow you to screw it down into the uh, the metal engraving table that sits in the machine that you rest your uh, material on. Um, tried to find something in the owner's manual about it. Uh, couldn't really find anything so far so um, we'll, see how, uh, we'll see how it works a little bit later. Next we've got a Epilogue brand um, cleaning fluid and premium grade lens tissue. I've never actually had to clean a laser myself. Um, when I was using a laser at a tech shop in California we weren't allowed to clean the lasers. Um, we had to ask to get them done so I watched how they did it uh, a few times um, but I'm gonna have to learn how to do it properly myself um, which is detailed in the manual. Um, Next we've got uh, bearing grease and it says apply every three months. Um, little syringe, break off the tip. Uh, this is also, um, its application is also shown uh, in the owner's manual. Next is the exhaust tube. Um, it's a four inch exhaust tube. This um, attaches directly to the uh, back of the machine and you run your pipe um, to the exhaust fan and the dust collector. Uh, it's important to note that uh, when you order a laser you have to actually order a couple separate components um, from non-epilog uh, companies. Um, I ordered mine from Harbor Freight Tools. I'm going to show uh, a video of the unboxing of those components but I had to order a air compressor and I had to order a dust collector and I will attach all those to the exhaust um, with some aluminum piping. I'll, uh, I'll detail that in a later video, but this is the actual component that comes with it. The hardware for this um, is supposedly in the back of the machine as per the uh, owner's manual. The last piece of hardware that came with the machine was a rotary attachment. And this is a additional piece of equipment that um, 
that epilogue retails, uh, I was able to negotiate a uh, this attachment for free as part of kind of my overall package, um, which was great and unexpected, and uh, just never hurts to ask for uh, for free stuff. You can usually get it done, especially when um, it's such a large purchase. I think this was 1150 retail, so relative to the cost of a 60 watt laser, um, it's relatively minimal and. Um, the company that I dealt with uh, was willing to throw it in for free just to get the deal done. So really happy about it. What it does is it engraves on uh, circular objects. So a wine glass, a mason jar, um, basically anything, and it turns the material. Um, so I believe it replaces the Y axis. Um, so instead of the laser moving uh, up and down in a or um, on the on its y dimension uh, it simply turns the wheels so and only will move on the x axis um, and the wheels replace the y axis as far as uh, my understanding goes I, I never actually used one of these at tech shop when I was there um, but I'm but I'm excited to learn how to use it here is all the software that came with uh, my laser um, this is engrave lab version 9 it says complete laser and rotary software. Um, I believe this is for, you know, more photos and whatnot. I've never actually used it. Um, I've always used Corel Draw, so they were willing to throw this in for free, which I guess they don't always do. Um, so I'm uh, I'm excited to learn how to use this and see what differences uh, there are um, with Corel Draw. Uh, speaking of Corel Draw, uh, the latest version of Corel Draw is, I guess, Graphics Suite 6. Um, I tried to get them to throw that in for free as well, uh, but the best they were willing to do was Graphics Suite 5, which I was perfectly happy with. I'm, uh, I'm not um, that graphically inclined. I just need to do what I need to do, and um, by all accounts, uh, this the 6 version is not a whole lot different, so I saved a few hundred dollars and uh, was happy to do so. Um, next we've got uh, the driver software that comes with the epilogue um, and this is what essentially installs the print software to your computer so that when you're ready to print on the laser you simply press print, you select the epilogue laser and uh, it pulls up uh, the whole menu um, that allows you to operate the laser so all the different features and the advanced settings um, this is basically all you need to uh, start printing on the laser. This is a pretty simple list of unpacking instructions that come um, in a pouch on the outside of the crate that the laser comes in. Uh, it was definitely a two-man job. I wish I would have filmed it, but I was pretty excited to um, just get the laser unpacked and uh, off of the pallet. Um, but it, uh, it was actually a pretty ingenious system. There's a little ramp system that uh, that you hook in to the pallet that lets you roll the machine off really um, smoothly uh, when you have two people. So uh, yeah, it was pretty simple. Finally, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do a unboxing video um, or an inventory, if you will, uh, was because there were so many little extras uh, that came with the laser that I had no idea um, were going to come with the laser, and I'll go through those now one by one. The first item um, is actually from Epilogue itself. It's called the Epilogue Laser Virtual Training Suite. Um, I covered up the, uh, the the code that lets you get your username and password, but uh, I'm looking forward to checking out those resources. But inside this bag um, came a whole bunch of different materials uh, to start lasering on to practice. So we have, looks like a four by four um, piece of wood kind of lightweight, feels like balsa. Um, here is a keychain, and um, here is a piece of acrylic or plexiglass. In the laser came a really hefty white bag, um, apparently from JDS Industries, uh, which is a supplier. It looks like they've partnered up with Epilogue uh, to throw some, some cool freebies inside uh, the package so that uh, when you get it and you unwrap it and you see all the samples they have in their catalog, that you'll hopefully order from them. A lot of different suppliers to order this stuff, um, and uh, you know you can order it online. Um, but JDS seems like they made a pretty good move 
because now I can see exactly you know how much stuff they have here's a little wood plaque to practice on they included about four or five uh, metal um, sheets that I'll be able to practice with here's a really extensive catalog way bigger than a uline catalog all the different kind of options that you can select um, raw materials from price list uh, here's some acrylic um, looks like from a different brand called Premier uh, crystal and glass a um, little welcome letter shows you some of the different sprays which I'm actually not too familiar with the sprays that you can coat aluminum and wood with but uh, looking forward to kind of learning about that as well but great little freebie package from JDS and uh, you know looking forward to kind of checking out what they have to offer and lastly um, some more freebies uh, just some kind of plastic sign samples and stuff to give you ideas you can order plastic and uh, I'm not sure if it's acrylic or whatnot um, I gotta look a little bit more into it um, but gives you wholesale pricing um, this talks about Alumamark which is great because I've always I'm curious as to uh, kind of the sprays available for the different types of aluminum um, or the different types of sprays available for aluminum that uh, that isn't anodized or to get different finishes and colors. Uh, here's some more catalogs from some different people, laser products and training. This appears to be more of like a laser supply company. Um, I saw a bunch of little technical parts in here, like replacement parts, like uh, exhausts. Here we go. So you know different uh, you know different things. Um, and then here are some plastic sheets that were provided also to practice with. So really happy with, uh, with all of these extras that were included. And uh, just can't wait to get the machine set up now and uh, start lasering some stuff.